to be the man. You got to beat the man. This is my yard now. I will fight anyone and everyone. Here he comes. Where is he? Cactus Jack. Your arms are just too short to box with God. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Heels podcast. My name is Jacob Best and Realm Hodder. I'm Ryan Brightman Peacock. And I'm Jeremy the Coach Brooks. So today we're going to talk about, uh, we're not going to talk about Raw 25th anniversary because we thought it was this week. I thought it was tonight. <laughs> it's next week. <laughs> <laughs> I was going through Raw and there ain't shit happening except the Revival coming back. Fuck the Revival. Fuck the Revival. No, don't fuck the Revival. No, they, no, they fuck, fuck the Revival. <laughs> nope. Hey, fuck the I Revival. Love the revival. You know what? Fuck uh, the Revival. Hey, wait, wait. wait. What? F T R R. Get it? Yes. Get it? Got it. Get it? You're fucking stupid. Hey. <laughs> Don't disrespect us. Fuck your wife. Oh, no. <clears throat> uh, so, I've got some stories pulled up here. We got a few stories we're going to go over, and then we're going to talk about pro. No. Fuck, I keep saying Pro Wrestling Illustrated. Sports Illustrated. You might get sued if you keep wrestling. doing that, bitch. What? <laughs> By which one? For Wrestling Illustrated or Sports Illustrated? Oh. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> oh great. So, yeah, we're going to talk about some news stories, and then we're going to go over that top ten list. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I do. We want to talk about next month now, right? We're ready to talk about that? Uh, I think so. Okay, so we are going to Atomic Wrestling Entertainment's one-year anniversary show in Cocoa Beach, Florida. I cannot wait. I'm psyched as well. That is on the 16th, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, we are should be doing interviews with Tommy Dreamer. Oh, Hopefully, whoa, Tommy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He will be there. I wouldn't. Let me let me go back a second. Tommy Dreamer and Emma will be there. Hopefully, we will do interviews with them. I um, wouldn't have gone this far, but okay. Go ahead and tell them, tell them we're doing everything. Why not? Well, okay, well, I'm going to tell them who's going to be there and who we might be interviewing. <laughs> Tommy Dream will be there. Emma will, will be there. Uh, Tennille Dashwood, I think she's going by now. Either way, we're going to be around superstars that made the names in the business. Uh, Santana Garrett's going to be there. Rosemary's going to be there. Jesse Neal's going to be there. Good card. Jack Swagger's going to be there. The people, American. Pe- what, what the fuck you say? The Patriot. What was it slow? For the people. For the people, motherfucker. Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> and there's a guy that we, we got to show you some of the stuff from him, Brooks. Is your marriage in the morgue? Vertigo. Who? This guy, Vertigo. What about him? He's a badass. Vertigo. Vertigo. Oh, I thought you said Vertigo. Yeah. <laughs> Vertigo Rivera. Put his ass in jail. He's yeah. from Puerto Rico. Oh, God. He's got black hair and a gray beard. Duh. Oh. And he's managed by James Mitchell. Oh, okay. He's a badass. Oh God. Yeah, he he's. I saw him in like I think my first AWE video. Yeah. We had him in it. I was like, this guy's good. Yeah, I think it was him, Jesse Neal, and someone else. He can't beat my ass, so I ain't worried about it. But uh, yeah, we're very excited about that. Alex the Red. It's Alex Red or Alex the Red? I think it's Alex Red. I think he was in that match. But I don't know. I don't know. Either way, you know. Alex, the promoter of Atomic Wrestling Entertainment, we're, he's invited us out there. We're going to go check it out. Um, everything I'm seeing on YouTube and like all of their past cards and even their upcoming cards, like James Storm is going to be in the next show. That's big. This promotion's killing it. It's, it's you know, you look at the, the his webpage, you know, on Facebook and stuff, you know, Atomic Wrestling, and he posts a lot of stuff about his upcoming matches and stuff, and it's, it, it, you, you look at it, it's like, damn. Yeah. That's some shit. I want to go. I will drive two hours to We're see somebody to. that you see on TV every freaking week. Yeah. You know, right. that's, that's that's a damn good car. I'm real excited. Yeah, I respect the hell out of this son. Yeah, I he's really doing do. It. He's doing it. Right. He do, he's doing it big. You know, he, I, and, you know, thank you, Alex, for inviting us to come over. You know, God bless you and stuff. We really appreciate this from us. You know, that's, this is, that's awesome. He's a nice dude. You know, you don't get a lot of promoters to let people, random people come and do this. Yeah. A lot of promoters are douchebags. And I, and I hate to say yeah. that on this, but I'm, I'm, I don't give a fuck. Brooks is talking. A lot of oh. promoters don't give a fuck about Story everybody else. Brooksy. Hey, God damn, here we go. <laughs> you know, a lot of people don't give a fuck about other people. They just worry about their damn selves. 
if people in the wrestling business want to make wrestling business the way it used to be back in the day, take care of each other. Love each other. Help each other out. And everybody be the fucking same. That's all I got to say about that, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Who are you mad at? I don't know. <laughs> everybody. But Alex, thank you, man. <laughs> I, for the bottom of my heart, Jeremy Brooks, Coach Brooks, thank you very much for letting us do this. And, and we, were, we, you know, we got your back, brother. Yeah. Absolutely. We got your back. I'm excited about it. I'm fucking fired up. I'll quit my job to go to that shit. You're in the Cocoa Beach. What's Cocoa Beach by? Is it by Orlando? Cocoa Beach is in Brevard <laughs> County. It's like uh, 20 minutes from Orlando, 20, yeah. 35 minutes from Orlando. You're near in that area. If you're Check in Melbourne, Cocoa, Daytona, Orlando, Kissimmee, them, them, the Central Florida area. Yeah. Follow Alex and Atomic Wrestling on Facebook and also follow his band page, Razor's Edge, too. You know, that's a very good band and stuff. And they they play good shit too. So that you know you'll get a kick out of that as well. So we're gonna go on. Uh, we are again. I mentioned it last week. We're gonna start to get away from WWE, but that's gonna be hard. To there's do. news. It is gonna be hard. We're still gonna talk about it. I understand. But I I do have some stuff in the pipeline for us to watch. Get it done. Um, I did uh, get. Uh, I've got a copy of. Uh, Battle of Los Angeles. No. We uh, The big PWD show, the All-Star Weekend, maybe? I think I have All-Star Weekend. Oh, okay. So we'll watch that soon. I'm excited for that. I love PWG. Y'all got me loving that, too. I can't wait it's to watch so it. It's so good. It's fucking amazing. So we're going to go over some news here. Just just some, well, one major thing and a couple little things. Um, Goldberg's been confirmed for the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2018. He, yeah, that he's the headliner. I respect that. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, you know, watching Goldberg when I was growing up as a youngin, you know, him taking WCW to where they were and competing with WWE at the time, you know, he had the undefeated streak until, you know, the NWO came and fucked that up. Other than that, you know, I respected Goldberg. He did a lot for that company and promotion and stuff. He deserved it. Absolutely. I think he deserved it. Yeah, he's a big game. I mean, he, he does deserve it. He just I mean, needed to stay the fuck out of the ring. He made he made it pretty interesting beating the hell out of Brock Lesnar and beating the hell out of Kevin Owens. And yeah. I mean, he's boring as fuck. Yeah, he got older. <laughs> you know, I, I agree with Brian on that. You know, the older you get, the more boring you get because you can't do what you used to do in the past. You know, but I respect. I still respect him. You know, we definitely talk some shit about him now. <laughs> Who doesn't? Yeah, I mean, he he was a big deal back in the day. He really was. He was a big deal when he came back too. Yeah, you know, the motherfucker shit. sold out the Georgia Dome against Hulk Hogan for the WCW title. Was that the finger poke of doom? No. That okay. was Hulk Hogan and Kevin Nash. Oh, that's right. That was on... Uh, they Nash, tased Nash Goldberg, Jordan. though, didn't they? Yeah. They, they fucked that dude up a couple yeah. times, man. That is a shame. We'll have to talk about that one day. Yeah. Go over the history of the NWO and WCW and all that. Oh, we'll gladly talk about that. Uh, so, one... <laughs> Interesting bit of news is uh, Bobby Lashley's done with Impact Wrestling. Bobby and, Lashley. Yeah. That's pretty big deal. Because if he comes back and he faces Brock. I would like, I will, I will fucking wake up and see that shit. Holy shit. Brock Lesnar versus Bobby Lashley. Hell yeah. They both MMA fighters. Right. They both been WWE champions. They both are badass and they both huge. Yeah. Hey, WrestleMania. Make it happen, Vince. And apparently, Brian Cage is the one who retired him from Impact Wrestling. He's in Impact now. Oh, really? Yeah. So well, was bitch. he just like, all right, this dude's bigger than me, I quit? I don't know. I guess he just lost to him. All it says is he sent him packing. Apparently, he also sent uh, Ethan Carter the third packing. I saw that. I saw that on, uh, on the website that Ethan Carter, when he was getting ready to kick the rocks and what you, what you call that shit now? What, Impact Team, Wrestling? Yeah, Impact. I don't know what the fuck oh, you call it. Oh, it's Global Force Wrestling. I'll Impact just call it Universal Studios Wrestling Company. I don't give a fuck with it. Fuck that owl. Woo, woo, woo. They just did a show Wednesday. Last Wednesday in Orlando. It was tape. Huh? Huh? Yeah, they did a taping. Why they do tapings? Don't you know surviving this shit? You need to go live? Yeah, I mean, live shows are better, but... They, they, you can't even you can't even watch TNA. What impact? You can't even watch Impact no more. It's on some random ass channel. You ain't if you ain't got a box, you can't watch it. 
Yeah, right. That's right. That's stupid. That's, that's one of our problems. We can't watch it. I'll watch, I'll I'll watch it if I can watch it, but I can't. I'm not going to go with my grandma when we watch the bitch nor. I'd rather watch Ring of Honor in New Japan. I agree with you 2,000%, <laughs> son. Huh? I just, I don't know. Impact has just been so bad to their wrestlers and their fans and way worse than WWE ever has. Yeah. So. I still banged this car, though, but that's another story. What's that? Huh? What? What? Huh? Let's, let's stop that, Jacob. <laughs> I have to go back and listen to what the hell you just said. <laughs> Uh, a bit of sad news is that... Is it really sad? It's sad, yeah, because she's young. Oh, sh- oh, give a fuck if she was young. I don't know. Paige is pretty much being forced to retire because of her injuries, her oh, neck injury. I was wondering what the bad news was. <laughs> <laughs> she's like... Her, yeah. She's 25. Yeah, we'll Holy get, shit. Whatever. It's, you know... I don't know. I don't want to talk about this shit. She got her ass kicked. No, she busted her neck. She got her ass kicked. Okay. But she's just like Daniel Bryan. She's pretty much being forced to retire. You know, what's the uh, the girl kicked her in the shoulder and she hit the mat. That's her fault. She can't take a fall. She been outside the range of them long, you know, doing what she do. Okay. That's her fault. She been on the business for a while. She got ring rust. They shouldn't have brought her back so damn fast. Let her grow back into her character, then put her back on the main roster. Okay. That's their Absolutely. fucking fault for hurting that damn girl. Yeah. That's her fault for putting herself in that kind of situation. Nobody got time for that shit. Okay. What did he say? Ain't nobody <laughs> got time for that? Fuck it. I'm, nobody hey, got time for that. I like Paige. You know, I liked it before she went ahead and started making burritos and shit for Alberto Del Rio to, uh, Taco Company. Alberto Del Patron. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Patron is what it got Alberto her all fucked up. El Patron. Oh, so El pa- oh, yeah, you're right. El Patron. Yeah. Alberto El Patron Taco Company. Alberto Del Computers. Whatever. Who gives a fuck? She, doesn't, you know, <laughs> she, Alberto you know, it, we all make mistakes. We all got learned from it. She made a mistake. She didn't learn from. It. She kept going with it. That was racist, actually. Are we racist? <laughs> what Brian said. Brian is always what? racist. I love Brian. Anyway. What? Okay, now what the fuck is... Alberto Del Taco? Del Taco's the shit. I think... I, think, I don't know. I've never been like that. I think it's I was the good. most racist. It's uh, not good. Me and Kim had it one time. It was not good. What? What was that place Del we Taco. had up in Ocala? Where's Del Taco? Oh, that's, oh, that shit is nasty. Was that, was that Del Taco or was that something else? Ain't the no Del Taco in Ocala. Yeah. Is it Del Taco in Ocala? Place, no. The place what? with all the sauces? No, no, no. That's T1 Flats. Yeah, that's good. I fucking love that place. No, it's closed now. The one... No, Taco Del Mar. Taco Del Mar. That, that place is fucking fantastic. I had a Del Taco in, in Astro Drive in Orlando. Yeah, that shit wasn't that good. The Del Taco? Yeah. Yeah, it's like it's like Taco Bell minus the flavoring. Yeah, it wasn't that good. They yeah. they did they basically closed down a, a Burger King and made a Del Taco. That's all that was. You know, we need another Taco Del Mar. We need to go back to Tijuana Flats. Yeah, I, I did. Taco Tuesday, baby. Not Tijuana too- Flats every Tuesday. Yep, I went for. Uh, was that the Throwback Thursday? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I used to go every Tuesday at College Park, Orlando, and over there by Edgewater High School, they got tea on the flats. Motherfucker be pet. Taco Tijuana. Tuesday. Moses is also supposed to be very good. Moses is good, too. Moses is always good. That's a taco place, right? Yeah. Okay. Burritos. Yeah. It's still got the same flavor, though, but it's, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah it's burritos. And of course, welcome to Moe's every time you walk Welcome to Moe's. Big ass burritos, tacos, which is right across the street from. <laughs> Don't get me started with that shit. <laughs> There's a picture of Paige on the screen. That's oh. a big ass. It's too many big asses in WWE uh, now. They need to chill out with that shit. Well, speaking of Paige, she did make a comment. Just <laughs> get away from the taco talk. Taco got, talk. That's a podcast. I don't got hungry again. <laughs> no, we we have enough podcasts. We don't need to do anymore. <laughs> <laughs> she said the comeback is always stronger than the setback with little hearts I would not comment on that so yeah that was the first comment and uh yeah I guess she's she posted a picture on Twitter of her just looking into a darkness like Star Wars shit yeah who gives a fuck let's move on they're saying that she's not giving up hope but she's very down about it it sucks man she's 25 that's her fault 
And she's retiring? <clears throat> well, she ain't got no choice but what they said. Now, is she retiring or does she, she craft to quit? She cannot go she into the Women's World she, Rumble. She basically forcing the, the it's injuries the same her. Situation, it's the same situation as Daniel Bryan. Right. She had to, the injuries forcing her to retire because if she keep going, she'll end up hurting herself, paralyzing, yeah. or killing herself. Yeah. Neck injury. Because oh, okay. that match at Madison Square Garden with uh, Sasha Banks kicked her in the back and she hit the mat hard. She didn't brace herself. Mm-hmm. But if she wouldn't went on that fucking loco taco Rio trip for Delberto, she would still know how to wrestle. Right. But she's not to be a ho ho. I think she the whole time she was out for that was injury, so she couldn't have been in the ring. Bitch, she was getting honey on the biscuit time all night long. Got time for that shit. Let's get get the fuck off Paige. I'm getting sick of this bitch. Boy, if Paige walked through this garage right now, I tell you what, boys. Hey, hammers down, legs up. What does that mean? Yeah, that's the way we feel. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, baby. S-E-R-R, anyway. get it? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, fuck the revival. Well, I mean, I... I uh, what were you mumbling about over yeah, there? Yeah, what you mumbling about, son. Here, drink some of this. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the strong stuff. I got the happy, happy, happy He's juice. He's got the revival. I just found a haka. Which oh, one? Oh, my God. Who are they playing against? Uh... Yeah, it is the All Blacks. Hey, look at the one that when they playing against the Irish team. I that, forgot what year. That that is a team. What is that? A rugby team? Yeah, it's a rugby okay. team. The New Zealand All Blacks is my favorite, favorite, favorite rugby team of all time. I grew up watching the All Blacks. They are a bunch of badass motherfucking Samoans that would go oh, in there and rip huh? your motherfucking head off. But before That's every hard. match, every match they do a a, a Samoan tribal war cry. A dance called the haka, where they basically ch- when they do the haka, it's basically challenging you and telling you this is our fucking territory. If you step on our grounds, we will kill you, motherfucker. I just I'm getting fired up. Let me drink this shit right here. I'm getting fired up. I'm What's... about to do a haka. Uh, you Bro, you want to do a haka? Let's do it right now. If I do a haka, I might go to sleep. So I'm tired. You know? Do you know why they stick their tongues out? Because it's badass. No, but you know what, what that meant. What? That means I'm gonna eat you, and you're gonna taste good. It's, I stick my tongue out all the time. Because that's one of the things they do. See, when I do it with your, your LARPing group, I'm yeah. going to do that. Yeah, but I, because I, I was watching a bunch of documentaries, and uh, that's why, because they, they stick their tongue out like all the way. They stick their tongue out, and they, their eyes and they expand. Eyes that's basically saying, I'm about to destroy you, cannibalize you, and swallow your whole body. Because I'm a motherfucking badass, and this is my land, and I do what I do. Story time with Brooksy. God damn you right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to save that to watch when we're done. Yeah, we, yeah, we watch that when we're done. Go ahead, Jacob. <clears throat> so we're going to go over and probably mostly disagree with uh, the Sports Illustrated Top 10 Wrestlers of the Year for 2017. Now, uh, it does say that the Top 10 list, the format was based on a combination of work rate, drawing ability, and the overall impact on the business in 2017. That much hit. Notable omissions, right off the bat. Finn Balor, Shinsuke Nakamura, Naito. I think Naito should be on there just because of what he did with the Intercontinental belt. Yeah. Right, right? I'm thinking of the right person. Mm-hmm. Okay. Christopher Daniels. What? Had probably the best year of his career. Really? Probably. He been in the business for years. Oh yeah, yeah I don't know. Trevor Lee, hmm. uh, he did some great things in Impact, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Tanahashi, and Brock Lesnar. Huh. I gotta disagree with Brock Lesnar too. I gotta cr- uh, disagree with Christopher Daniels. Brock Lesnar can still draw a crowd, but his success in 2017 was due primarily to his opponent. That's not his fault though. Yeah. They can't blame that shit on him. He's not the one booking this shit. Yeah, they're saying that uh, he shined in a Survivor Series encounter with AJ, but it was courtesy of Styles. I got a little bit of a problem with that. Go ahead. I mean, am I wrong in thinking that like even as good as AJ is, the other guy still has to be pretty damn good to have a good match? Like, I know Brock isn't the most exciting wrestler in the world, but what he does, he does real fucking well. Well, Brock is to us is a, a badass in the ring that just throw you around with no fuck gift. Like, 
I love seeing Brock go up against guys like AJ and Kevin. Because it's like... <clears throat> it's worlds colliding as WWE versus indie guys. Like, the it's match exciting. that got me was, you know, and you said WWE versus indie guys was Brock Lesnar against Randy Orton, where he just busted Randy Orton. Oh, my God. Was that it. this year? No, yeah, no, it was last year. It has year. to be. Oh, no. It was last year. It sure? Was, it, it, I think it was last year. It was it was brutal, man. It was, he, he legit, like, busted him open with the elbows. Like, straight. Randy had a gash to side of the Rock Crush. Well, not Rock Crush King, but uh, the Grand King. The Grand King. <clears throat> that shit was nasty, son. His rock crusher game was not really that big. Oh well, yeah, that was twenty sixteen. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it was at uh, I forgot what paper you. Summerslam. Bought. Yeah, Summerslam. But it, it was a quick match. He laid him. He just destroyed him. And that right there was like, okay, the WWE started to come back with some good shit. But then Brock went away for a while. I bet Roman Reigns is on this list, and it should have been Brock Lesnar. But we'll get to that point. Because number 10 is Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Keith, Keith Lee. Keith Lee. Oh, my God. And another thing I appreciate the fuck out of for this list, because we're going to have to go back and look at this. Top three matches of 2017. Yes. One of them versus Ricochet. <laughs> I wasn't even going to bring this list up until I looked, and I saw number 10 was Keith Lee. And I was like, okay, this list is worth looking at. Yeah. Uh, there's a match versus Ricochet at Evolve 80. Uh, yes. Tomohiro Ishii. At yep. Rev Pro Global Wars UK and versus Matt Riddle at Evolve ninety four. Oh, I was hoping his, his match with Jeff Cobb, but I don't know if that was this, this year or not. <coughs> that was a PWG. That may not have been. We may have just watched that late. Yeah. And then but, you know he um, also got a modern day mix of Samoa and Joe at Bam Bam Bigelow. That's pretty big. Oh, you read that? Yeah. Okay, you freaked me out there. <laughs> Second. What? I was like, he thought holy he just came shit! Because it says yeah. it right here. What if I did? I would have been impressed as fuck. Why'd you, you tell be, me that you read it? You should be impressing me anyway, <laughs> Jacob. I wonder if Brooks is doing his homework. I'm, like, I'm looking at it, bitch. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I, Keith Lee is somebody <clears throat> that we knew nothing about. We yeah. saw in a PWG show, right? Oh, no, I think we saw him in one of those documentaries. One of the Evolved ones? Yeah. And then, I'm not sure. No, about. I came across one of his matches okay. in... I think I came across one of his highlight reels. Right okay. What the fuck is this Sunset Music Festival shit? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. It Focus. Took, it just took over my screen. Focus. Where, where's it at? Tampa. The Rainbow Jack Stadium. Who's, who's blocking? Focus. I don't know. It's like fucking... We'll talk about this later, bro. I got this. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, number nine on the list is Cody Rhodes. I like that. Probably should be higher up on the list. I agree with that. Probably. After he left the WWE, he has made stardom even more. You know, yeah. he, just, he just blew up. Oh, I want to just point out that you didn't look at this list, did you? You just saw Keith. No, I kind of perused it. I don't remember who. This, 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 this is my first time looking <laughs> at it. Me too. I, yeah, I, have, I really haven't even looked through it. I just stopped at number but 10. Just wanted to say that, that we haven't even gone through this. Right. Um, yeah, Cody is on here. His top three matches are versus Christopher Daniels at Best in the World. We watched that. That was really good. That's why Christopher Daniels should be in the top ten. Oh, man, versus Okada, G1 Special in the USA. Yeah. That's, that's good. probably really good. I didn't see that. You didn't? No. Didn't we see that? No, I wouldn't know if I saw that. We did see it, didn't we? Yeah. That was the one in L.A. I didn't watch it. You was with us. All three of us are sitting there watching it. That was when they came over and took over yeah. LA. I'm pretty sure I didn't watch. I, I'll have to look back we, into it. We, we I'm pretty sure we watched it. it. Yeah. Uh, and versus Minoru Suzuki, Death Before Dishonor. Who is that? Uh, Minoru. <sighs> Minoru. <laughs> I can't. I, I guess I could look it up. We really. It, it's going to happen. We're going to learn these guys. I think I know who that is, but I'm not exactly sure. Oh, he's the crazy looking shaved head guy. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's probably really good. But yeah, Cody has just done some pretty incredible stuff. He blew up after he left the WWE, which I like. Yeah, because he did so well in WWE too, but it was like they just never they didn't respect him. Yeah, they, they didn't, like they didn't give him what he deserved. They gave. 
They gave him shit gimmicks and he got him over. Shit. What he was got that over shit having a mustache. What was that called? What? That he wore that stupid ass face paint and bullshit. Stardust? Yeah, Stardust. He got it over though. That was just, I don't understand that, but that was the dumbest shit ever. That's why he left the WWE. He is yeah, not that, his I, brother. Supposedly that was what killed it for him. You know, fuck that shit. Cody Rhodes can Star- an event. Stardust would have been fine nah. if it led to Stardust versus Goldust at WrestleMania. That wouldn't have been an interesting match. It, we got that match. Where? We talk about it all the time. Do we? But it was supposed to happen at WrestleMania. I wouldn't watch I don't that give shit a at shit WrestleMania. About WrestleMania. Goldust does. He told me himself when I met him. Goldust. Uh, fuck Goldust. He need to what? retire. No, he's just putting guys over. He There's nothing wrong with that. It's enough people already doing that. Are there? Yeah. John Cena. When? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it's like Goldust and Kane, and I think Mark Henry's done now. And Cody Rhodes need to be Cody Rhodes and make that successful. Fair enough. He yeah. don't need to be a fucking mass Stardust bullshit when you know he come out there and jump all, on the railing. All I'm saying is that should have led to Cody versus Goldust. I wouldn't have watched it. That would have been dumb. You know, you're t- you keep talking about these people who are around to put other people over. Yeah. You know, I just realized. What? Yeah. Why do we need them to put other people over? Because they draw people. People know who Goldust is. Goldust ain't going to draw nobody. People are going to buy wrestling tickets regardless. I think. <laughs> they ain't, uh, ain't going to buy wrestling tickets for Goldust. They, they, no, but they are they are a level above Jobber. Because Jobbers are just kind of whoever. And Goldust would be like a veteran that comes in and works with guys. Young guys and puts them over. I'd rather get another veteran that's well known to put him over than Goldust. And Goldust is well known. Like Goldust, he ain't never left. Yeah. Bring somebody back that was famous. If you're gonna put somebody over, yeah, Goldust. Well, I, well, Goldust, I thinking Goldust is Goldust to me is washed out. My point is, is two people going to match. One is putting the other over. It doesn't have to be the guy putting the other guy over. It doesn't have to be. You know, yeah, from you, the 90s. you saying, like, at WrestleMania, why would anybody put anybody over at WrestleMania? For the same reason that any, any time you would. They shouldn't even be like that at WrestleMania, though. At, at that time, you, should, you shouldn't you need to be putting over at WrestleMania. You should already be over. Oh, yeah, but you get elevated even more at WrestleMania. I don't, I don't think Goldust would draw that good against Cody Rhodes. I, they definitely wouldn't be the main event. But it would just be something for Goldust's legacy. I can see like for... Cody Rhodes fighting Randy Orton because they was in that faction at WrestleMania yeah. before Goldust. I don't I'm, know. I just, I, I just, I would have liked to see them to a WrestleMania. And I don't dis- I don't. I'm not disrespecting Goldust. I'm just saying, you know, his time is up. Cody's time. My now. time is now. Uh, it's that, <laughs> God damn it! Let's move on. All right, uh, number eight is Matt Riddle. Man, I love this guy. He's so awesome. It is pretty interesting. He's a former MMA guy. And man. What is the tag team he's in? Uh, the Chosen Bros. Chosen Jeff Cobb. Bros. I knew it was something bros. Bro. Uh, they're they're <laughs> pretty great. <laughs> they're, they're the ebb and light of pro wrestling. If you want to <laughs> understand that, go back and listen to the Few True <laughs> Villains podcast. It's a long ass podcast. We just recorded about LARPing. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so, Matt Riddle's top matches of 2017 were versus Walter. It's in all caps. Oh, okay. <laughs> Walter. I don't know who that is. Uh, Progress August show in New York. It really is in all caps. That's the name of the show. Progress August show in New York. And they probably sell up because right. it's in New York. Uh, versus Zack Sabre Jr., Rev Pro Re- Uprising. Mm-hmm. And, oh, Keith Lee Evolved 94. Uh, apparently Riddle was the star of the Indies in 2017. Yeah, he's just, like, he's got a great personality. Um, I think Evolve is, like, kind of his main promotion. Bless you. Thank man. you. Sneezy time with Brooks. <laughs> There's so shit. It's a lot of times with Brooks. Uh, but Matt Riddle's another one that we need to watch more of. Yeah. He's a guy that's going to end up in WWE, man. I'll watch him. 
Um, number seven is Kevin Owens. Hell yeah. Uh, his okay. top three matches are versus Roman Reigns in the Royal Rumble, versus AJ Styles at SummerSlam, and versus AJ Styles and Chris Jericho on SmackDown Live. I got a problem with that. The last one? No, with the whole thing. Okay. I know damn well he had better matches in the Indies than he did right this here. This is for this year. Oh. Top three matches of 2017. Yeah, I'm going overboard. My apologies. <laughs> Calm <laughs> down, Brooks. My apologies. Excited time with Brooksy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he says he started 2017 as Universal Champion. Uh, yeah, he did have a great match against Roman Reigns, another one against AJ Styles. Yeah, that match against AJ was really good. I kind of liked it. It wasn't in 2017, but I'm breaking up in when that match. What was it, uh, Money in the Bank at WrestleMania? What? Oh, uh... WrestleMania in Dallas. Was that Money in the Bank? I can't remember. No, it was in the car. not here. <laughs> I don't know, but it's, I, like I said, it's not 2017, but the way he fought that, you know, uh, it made me a fan of Kevin Owens. Yeah. Number six on the list. I think we, we've we talked plenty about Kevin Owens on the podcast. Yeah. You guys all know we love him. I have a Kevin Owens pop vinyl on my desk. <laughs> Jacob has a crush on Kevin Owens, everybody. Yeah, I got a man crush on him. He has What's a man crush. Uh, my computer's screwing up. You got the next person, Brooks? I can't say this dude's name. Okada. Okada. What are the top three matches? Kazuseke Okada. Kazuzuki. Suzuki Trooper. Racist sign with Brixie. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. See, it, top three matches of 2017. The first one, tuh, I'm already happy. Versus Kenny Omega, Rasul Kenny 11. Yeah. I wonder, what does it say what number that was? 11. 11. No, like... Number their match. They've had oh. Three. No, I don't. I think that's... Oh, God. I think that's two. I'm not sure. The... Yeah, that's two. That's the one you did. Did you ever watch that? I think, yeah. The one that went full 60 minutes? Yeah. I don't watch that one. I think, I think y'all showed me clips of that. Yeah, because it's a full hour. Yeah, that's, that's how right. it ends. Because I watched right. a full hour and I didn't really want to watch it again. I would, so we just showed Brooks the clips. See, like it says right here, you know, he voyaged to the United States for a G One special in the U.S. Mm-hmm. and AXS TV in July, where he worked with Cody Rhodes. See, people like that work. With, I I respect that he worked with Cody Rhodes. I rather Cody Rhodes work with people like that than Gold Dust. Yeah. You know, that, uh, I don't know. We go. I'm going backwards. Let's go forward. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he also had, what were the other ones? Uh, Tiger Mask W, 45th anniversary. That'd be super interesting to see. Tiger Mask is awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> and uh, versus Shibata at Su- Sakura awesome. Genesis. <laughs> Sakura Genesis. What is, that sounds really familiar. I wonder if I watched that one. I watched a few different New Japan shows this year. I'm still not super familiar with everybody. So, uh, number five. He should, probably shouldn't be so high on the list, but it's Braun Strowman. <clears throat> I don't hate Braun. Yeah. But Braun's he, better than Okada? Here's yeah. my here's my thing, though. And y'all gonna disagree with me on this, but I'm uh-huh. just saying it because it's true. What's the hottest thing in America right now? Probably Strowman versus Lesnar. WWE. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, who is the hottest wrestler right now that everybody want to see destroy shit? Strowman. All right. Yeah. That's why he's that high. Like, like what he did to Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar and Kane, the other day on SmackDown, or, or no, excuse me, Raw, I think it was Raw on SmackDown. It was Raw. <clears throat> like, he beat their asses and put them in back of the stage and basically... Tore down the, the Titan Tron on top of them. <laughs> that, Is that why uh, they were trying to fire him tonight? Kurt, yeah. He was fired? Because nah. he basically tried to kill the motherfuckers. Yeah. That was amazing. And even, that, though, even you know it's work, but it's still badass. Oh, it, yeah. And uh, the match versus Roman Reigns at <laughs> Payback. That must have been the ambulance match. I think so. Yeah, it was. I think it was. 
That was cool. That was a cool finish. Right? That was that was an incredible finish. Then they said Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns, and Samoa Joe at SummerSlam. That, that was awesome. a good one. Yes. That was a good one. That was a clash of the titans. Then the Big Show and the Raw Cage match. That was a good one too. I guess I don't remember that. I saw that one. That was a good one. That the Big Show looks good. He works well now. You know, moves around better. That was. A oh good yeah, match. he's lost a ton of weight. He lost a shit ton of weight. Number four. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Fucking John Cena. No comment. That motherfucker barely wrestled in 2017. But he wrestled against AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble, which was awesome. AJ Styles and Bray Wyatt at SmackDown Live. Man, there are too many like SmackDown and Raw matches to just... He don't deserve to be number four. No, pro- well... Wait, the work rate is still high. He's still doing a lot of shit, but he's not wrestling. And it's also, it wasn't part of this the draw? The draw? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah he can't. I mean, who's. Can WWE draw a house without Johnson? Yeah, him? that's like the first standalone sentence underneath this. Yeah. That's like. They can? Let me ask you, like, let me easy. ask y'all both this right here. God damn it. Let me ask y'all this. Who draws better, John Cena or Brock Lesnar? I want to say Lesnar. Just because he's going to draw the MMA folks, too. Then Lesnar should be higher than John Cena. Well, yeah. let's find out. No, no, he was already. Yeah, we are. We already said his name. not on the list. Yeah, yeah he's not. He's he's like what is it, honorable mention or something like that. Yeah, no, I, should, I don't think Lesnar draws more than Cena. I no, think I don't Lesnar think can. Any, I don't think so. Like right, like you got to think of the children. Well, someone please think of the children. <laughs> oh goodness! Did you did you even realize you were saying that? At no, first? but then when I said it, I was like, I got to do it. I respect that, bro. You went with it. That's, like, good, that's you, good acting. Because Cena's drawing the kids. The kids bring the parents. The kids don't give a fuck no more. Yeah, they do. Oh, yeah, they do. Gee, that motherfucker's barely there. He's there enough. Yeah, but when he is no, there. he's not. John Cena is barely there now. That motherfucker making movies like he hated The Rock to do. He basically do what he hated what The Rock was doing before. You're right. Here's a question though: How do you really know who draws? Who sells the most merchandise? Who has shows? the biggest pop? Who sells the most merchandise? Who the fans wear more? Who the fans talk about? Who we talk about? There we go. So talking about him. All right. Roman Reigns. And next. God and uh, damn it. <laughs> Roman Reigns top matches versus The Undertaker. Fuck WrestleMania yeah. 33. I was outside that stadium when that shit happened. Oh, yeah. It was it was awkward moment, you know. After The Undertaker walked up the stage, the lights just cut off. It's like, it's over. It's like, fuck off. He go. Off. He go. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he dead. <laughs> the best thing, and then the other matches were Braun Strowman versus Fastlane and versus John Cena No Mercy now the best thing that Roman Reigns has ever done and will ever do is that promo he did after being The Undertaker what is that's it? in our intro what is it oh it's my yard now yeah it's after he good. said that he didn't All have he a big said. yard to play in well he's like I need The Undertaker <laughs> let me use The Undertaker's line yeah. I like it when guys retire older wrestlers and take something of theirs. Yeah, guys retire older Hall of Fame wrestlers and become Intercontinental Champions. Damn, bro. I went there. <laughs> oh, you damn right. I went there, fucker. Fuck damn. him. Do yeah. it. I damn. <laughs> oh, you know what? I like Roman Reigns. I just hate him because they push him. They made right. forces You're onto right. him. And I don't think he wanted that. I think he wanted to take his time getting up there because he wasn't ready. I think he knew he wasn't ready for that spot like that. But he had the body. He's big. He's strong. He's fast. He's Samoan. Yeah. What I thought about the fucking Rock. Yeah. That's why they used the Rock in the fucking Royal Rumble with him in Philadelphia a couple years ago. <laughs> he got booing the Rock with the book. <laughs> Y'all don't boo me, you pecan pie eating motherfuckers. Oh, well, I wonder why I said pecan pie. The Rock don't use pecan pie. Number two on the list, The Rock. Poop. I'm just kidding. Oh, shit. I'm about to say. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Number two, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles. From Gainesville, Georgia. I was going to say, I bet you're going to say Florida. <laughs> yeah, we're so close, dude. One state away. God damn, I'm awesome. I'm phenomenal. His top matches were against Cena at Royal Rumble, Finn Balor at TLC, and Brock Lesnar at Survivor Series. I gotta see that Cena match against him. 
Yeah, it was really good. Cause I heard that world almost sucked. That was the highlight of it. Was it? Yeah. Oh. That's coming up, isn't it? Well, Rumble's, yeah, going to be very soon. What is it? It should be up next week, ain't it? Let's see. Oh, is it? I don't know. It should be coming up soon. Well, Rumble 2018 is... Well, it's in February, ain't it? January 28th. Oh, we got time. Two oh, weeks, we almost. Time much time. Two or three weeks. Two weeks. So, uh, and my computer fucks up again. Really? Is number one going to be Jinder Mahal? No, I have number one <laughs> right here. I cannot wait for us to talk about number one. Number one is... Kenny fucking oh. Omega. Of course. I love How this dude. He's a credible artist in the ring. He's a credible wrestler. He makes matches fucking phenomenal. You know, the match we just saw against him and Chris Jericho was fucking phenomenal. Yeah. You know, every match he's in in New Japan is fucking phenomenal. He puts in and he puts out every fucking time he gets in the ring. And a lot of people don't realize he was in the WWE at one point. They released his ass. And he will never, ever, 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 ever go back to the WWE again. I don't believe that. I, I believe um, it. That's the damn truth. And, and you know, the problem with people being like, yeah, WWE had him. They didn't know what they had. He probably wasn't. That, he's not as good as he is now. They didn't give him a chance at one point. He was a jobber when he was in WWE. Yeah, of course. You know, give the motherfucker a chance. But you know what? He the king of New Japan. Why would he leave? Some of those guys, though, they need to leave. Like yeah. Cody, he needed to leave. Because look at all the pressure Cody had with his father and his brother there. He needed something new. Now Cody is thriving in New Japan and Ring of Honor. Yeah. Kenny don't need to go back to WWE. All WWE is going to do is fuck him up. The only thing that would be good about Kenny going back to WWE is we would get to see him more. Yeah. I agree with that, but look, AJ Styles left you in Japan with WWE, and AJ Styles is kind of boring. It's the same shit. I don't agree with that. They are, they not, to me, they're not using him or Kevin Owens and uh, Sami Zayn. What was Zayn? Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn, right, in SmackDown. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens I, I somewhat agree with you with. You know, they're not using them right. They're boring. It's the same shit every Tuesday. Styles isn't like that, though. Styles is the same AJ we've always had. It's just, put them against different fucking people. It's the same match every fucking week. That, that's just a WWE formula. I, just, I hate that shit. It's a few the, that last for But you don't time. see that with Kenny Omega. At. No, oh. but at the same time, he's wrestled Okada a bunch of times. But Three times. Okada yeah. is like the yeah, fucking Undertaker get, in New Japan. <laughs> You can get guys wrestling each other three times in a week and a half in WWE. Every That's fucking true. day. You got guys wrestling in dark matches on you know live shows like that, too. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it gets boring. That one, like, make, give us something new, damn it. I want to see something new. Man, AJ's a phenomenal. He really is a phenomenal wrestler. Let him kick somebody else's ass. Let him join up with fucking Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens and they have a trio of a bunch of badass motherfuckers we do need that more, run through SmackDown. We need more factions in WWE. Which the club is a thing now. It's, let, no, and people, don't get mad when I say this. Less women factions, more male factions, more women in wrestling. Less okay. weak women factions. Less women factions, period. <laughs> Less talking, them bitches need to fight. Are there women, you know what, <laughs> are there women tag teams? No, but they're talking about doing that. It's trios. Have, like, the it's all trios. Thing, but they're all trios, they ain't yeah. tag teams. Yeah, because right now we have uh, the Riot the Squad, Squad, Absolution, that will clear you out. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, Absolution did clear Paige out and it didn't yeah. help because she's retired. Uh, we have the Welcoming Committee. Which is a bunch of old people that need to yeah. sit down and relax. And then there's the other faction. Oh, you know. Which I don't even think they're really a thing. Yeah, it, it's just it, was, it was the welcoming committee versus... Riot Squad. No. This is what? It was welcoming committee versus something else. This was before Riot Squad. Oh. It, it was like Naomi... Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're talking about I can't remember. I know something that clearly about. Naomi and them didn't give a fuck about. Right. It was <laughs> an old tag team partner, I think it was. Maybe. The other black sure. girl who got fired because she was great. not good. She wasn't. She she just looked good. She wasn't good yeah. in the ring. Naomi though, she 
She's no, woman so got that. good. She she good. She just got that don 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 don. On that note, <laughs> she's better than I give her credit for. So, is there anybody in the list that should have been in? But 2017. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm I'm really surprised. Well, they don't really have nobody in Ringo on on that list. I'm surprised Adam Cole, baby, is not in there. But I'm. But what has he done? That's the other. Yeah. Alistair who, 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 Black because he went on an incredible yeah. streak. Yeah. I knew you was gonna say that. Yeah. I knew yeah. you was gonna say. I agree with you on that. And I'm su- even though they're not a single wrestler, I'm surprised the Young Bucks weren't on the list. Who makes more yeah. money than the Young Bucks? They could have been on it. It didn't say single wrestler. It said best wrestler. True. I think it it was pretty implied that it's just the singles competitor. They, 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 if if somebody else did a list, like a real wrestling promoter or a real wrestling reporter did a list, everybody that we know who's good would have been on that list. <clears throat> Young Bucks would have been on there. They would they would get more in depth with like PWG and promotions like that too. Well, I'm just saying, I was when I saw Keith Lee on the Keith Lee. Uh, Sports Dude, Illustrated no. list. I was like, all right, so they're taking this a little more seriously. The serious. fuck Sports Illustrated yeah. got to do with wrestling now? They cover it. ESPN covers it now. Well, because Coach was on that shit. I don't, are, are Sports Illustrated and ESPN like, linked together at all? I don't think so. Nah. I don't know. Hey, Coach is on I ESPN. Don't know yeah. Sports. Nah. Yeah, he was on ESPN. He ain't on it no more. What, what happened with that? He go. Huh. I miss S- Coach. Something happened and he, he decided to kick rocks. Coach is awesome. Because he was a re- he was a reason why WWE was on Sports Center. I believe it. But after something happened, he left. He got done. Huh. With it. What they, they, with that? they canceled the WWE set because WWE is now on ESPN no more. If you know what happened with that, let us know in the comments below. Yeah. <clears throat> or in a review. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Uh, if you like listening to us babble about all this bullshit, maybe you listen to like Brian babbling about LARP. Yeah, we did a podcast about LARP and uh, some Fun other fighting. stuff too. And it was very Fun interesting fighting. too. Yeah, very that interesting. Italian, not Italian door. Dagger here. Yep, dagger here. Dagger heart. Dagger there. Look so, it up. It's more some. intense than you think. It really is. Uh, but thank you for listening, guys. Uh, something I didn't tell you guys. I'm gonna tell you right now on the podcast. I'm gonna make a Patreon tonight, probably. <laughs> So hopefully we can start getting some better equipment for the show. Maybe we can actually turn this into a studio. Get Brian shit out of here because no one wants his shit. Mm. <laughs> you can't tell a man to get rid of his shit, man. I'm just I'm kidding. kidding. It is a man game. We'll make more of a man game. We'll buy you nice in. couches and chairs so we can have a nice set. Hey, ain't nothing with a background like that. It's, it's stuff. Let me shut up. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to have a Patreon, and maybe, you know, if you enjoy the show, give us a buck, give us five bucks, whatever we decide the tiers are. It would be greatly appreciated. Um, what? You know, what the, I was talking with the boys, and now I'll, I'll probably start a little sports segment, you know. On if here, you want you know. to, we can. Then uh, another segment called Brooksy Talk, you know, where you can just go ahead and tell what's on your mind and Story tell your stories. And, you know, stuff like that. Make you feel good, get you a cup of hot cocoa with some... Some brownies or some uh, piece of ham or something. And you just sit back and relax and listen to a nice Hungry story. time with Brooksy. I don't know about Sneezy hungry time. time with Brooksy. Hey. You know Racist time with Brooksy. We had all these on this show. All right, in this fucking <laughs> shit now, goddammit. Thank you for listening, guys. Uh, you can find this on iTunes. You can find it on our website, Future Villains. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S dot com. And you can find so much more content on there. You can find all the LARP pictures. You can find pictures that we've taken at NXT shows. Uh, you can find that we're gonna the, the content that we'll be making at Atomic Wrestling Entertainment. All right. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to so tag some stuff. pictures and some links to our page, Future Villain page, from his page on Atomic Wrestling too. So yeah, absolutely. I think we've already posted some stuff up there. Right. <clears throat> and uh, if you want to follow us on social media, I'm at Best in the Realm on Twitter and at Best in the Realm on Instagram. I'm Jerry Brooks 42 on Twitter and J Brooks 42 on Instagram. At Brian25 on Twitter, at Brian1138 on Instagram. Thank you for listening, guys. Let's stop. <laughs>